So then, how are you all? Hopefully, you've had a better day than what I've had. Let's just say that me and technology are not on good terms. Hence, the lateness of the video today. So let's get straight into the meat and potatoes. So it would appear that Jack D has been confirmed as being at the corner club. And what does that tell us? Well, it tells us Jack D was at the corner club. It doesn't really tell us anything more than that. Now, I don't think it's going to help those that support him, support him more. It's certainly going to help support the theories that he could have somehow been involved but doesn't mean he was no it doesn't it just means that he perhaps wasn't asleep for as long as what we were first led to believe he may have been would appear that all of these students at some point of that evening were out they were out and about they were drinking they were together they were getting in cars out of cars they were getting food they were getting drunk and then most of them would end up getting murdered. The white Hyundai Elantra, it's turned out, is going to be a needle in a haystack because it would appear this, the, the university alone has about 70 of them on its own books. So, could this white Hyundai Elantra have just been one of the cars that were likely to have been seen and not really connected? But hold on. We could turn around and say, well, hold on, someone could have come forward and said, that was my Hyundai Landra that you saw, and I'm nothing to do with it. Check me out. But the fact that this car was used, and there's so many of them about, doesn't bode well. And I still say that if it was going to be found, it would have been found by now. I think the question that everyone needs to kind of ask themselves now is a simple one and that is does everyone know what happened or does nobody know what happened because at the end of the day i think that's it i think that either a load of people know what happened and they are actively going to hide what happened and if there is money behind it then it could indeed get hidden and the case could indeed go cold or was this someone who came from away? We've asked before, is this someone who came from away and just did it? I do think the fact that there was a white Hyundai Elantra there, nobody has come forward yet to say it was indeed theirs, and that this car seems to have such a virulent stasis around here. I think that it could be something to do with the university, whether that be student, whether it be some other connection. But there's a lot going on. There's still a lot going on. There's still a lot that we don't know and we may not ever know. There is whispers that law enforcement are toying with the idea of releasing the 911 call to the public. And I did find that interesting. They turned around and said that they are toying with the idea and it would be down to the prosecution to turn around and say, look, I think that that's okay that that's released. And I think to myself, well, why would you have to think about that for them to be thinking about it and looking at that element of the case specifically and then humming and hawing about it in terms of whether they release it to the public tells me that they could potentially be feeling that if they release that to the public then that could be a catalyst for something whether that be for someone to talk or whether it be to affect someone in some way. Because if it's going to be counterproductive, then they're 100% not going to release that to the public. If it's not going to have any effect whatsoever, then why would you even have to contemplate it in the first place? But this 911 call has always been a factor in this case that has brought a lot of things into question, including the surviving housemates which I just can't shake off this feeling that they know more than what they said. And I could be completely wrong. You know, this is speculation hour. Don't worry, I'm not going to be rambling on for an hour. That's tomorrow night, the final live of 2022. And if you're going to be there, I'm going to wear 
a magic unicorn suit. Yes, I am. But yeah, so Jack was at the corner club. So he was awake at around 1.30, probably 2. Probably even beyond that. We've got posts to Instagram that would kind of tell people that the surviving members were awake around Harpers 1, Harpers 2, posting, uploading pictures onto Instagram. We have calls around the early hours of the morning, calling Jack, 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 Jack. There's a few things that just don't sit right. And I don't, I still don't think there's going to be anything that happens in this case that's going to shock us. I really don't. But where are you? We'll have a good chat tomorrow night. We'll look at all of the stuff, what's out and about. And hopefully sort of knock heads and see what we can bring up. But there we go. There isn't really a lot more to talk about unless we want to go deep down rabbit holes. But let's not forget the most important part of this entire case, and that is whoever did this is still out there. However personal, however, you know, if this was someone who was in this group's inner circle and they did it because they were angry, they were frustrated, then they're going to be getting to the point now where they could be gaining some confidence if people are not even closing in on them. Now, could that be enough to push them into doing something again? Could they have got a taste for doing this? I genuinely hope not. I genuinely hope not. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>